Hey guys, welcome. So what is GRE? GRE is a graduate record examination. This exam is conducted by ETS, which is a company from the United States. So if you are applying for the Turkey Bursary, then I recommend you to write GRE for the masters. If you are applying for the undergraduate, then SAT SAT exam is recommended. And GRE exam is actually used everywhere. For example, if you want to apply for US, Canada or anywhere in the world, GRE is everywhere used so two not five dollars is the application fees and you need an original passport for the identification because without the passport they will not allow you inside and the rescheduled fees is fifty dollars so please select a date which is suitable for you because after that if you want to change it then you will have to pay fifty dollars which is very costly the books that i recommend is official guide to gre manhattan gre mangush gre power prep and balance gre the book that i use was balanced GRE because it is a very simple book and it has all the syllabus covered. If you are willing to get 300 plus marks, then go for this book, Balanced GRE. But if you want to get more than 310, for example, 320, 330, then you have to uh, go through all the books, maybe two or three books because it is very difficult to get more than 320 marks. This exam is valid for five years. That means if you are in the third year of your engineering or second year of the engineering or what, whatever degree course you are doing, then go for it because whenever you find free time, then prepare for it and keep the exam. This exam is valid for five years. After that, I will go with what is in the exam. The exam has three sections, verbal section, quantitative section, and there is analytical writing. The verbal section is, is like English. Everything will be in English, mathematics will be in the quantitative and writing part is analytical writing. So what is the syllabus? The syllabus is verb tense, um, idiom, pronouns, parallelism, modifiers in the verbal reasoning and quantitative reasoning will have percentages, ratio and properties, profit and losses, linear equation, quadratic equation, power and roots and etc. More than this topic, there will be like more topics. So all the books will have the topics covered. I use Baron GRE, you can use it. It has all the topics covered and I, I recommend you guys to use one book if you are willing to get 300 plus marks. Okay, and concentrate on the book and in one month you can get good marks. I studied for one month, but I had a schedule three hours in the morning and three hours in the in the evening. I used to study and I got three not six marks. So I would like to give you um, tips for the examination. Please don't be scared of this exam examination because I think most of the Asian people, they already have good mathematics. And because in India, we also study English all the time. So we don't have to stress so much. We just have to prepare for one month. Don't be overconfident that you know everything because every exam has a pattern and you need to study for There is no negative marking in this examination. So if you don't know any, any question, then go for it. Go for the guess and maybe who knows you will get the correct answer. I recommend an application which is Mangush. Mangush has all the you know apps on the Play Store and you can go through all the apps. So the best app is Magush uh, Flashcards, which helps you get the uh, words, the English words, English vocabulary, and you can, you know, memorize some of the words. Don't memorize it bluntly, but use these kind of apps so that you could, uh, you know, learn more words. My friend, when he wrote the examination, there was an option to cancel the score. So after completing the exam, there is an option to cancel it. Don't press on it. If you press on that option, your score will be canceled. Then you will have to pay additional money and you have to go to the office and all those things. So please be careful. Don't press on the cancel score when you write the examination. The most important tip will be that revise all the topics, go through the, all the topics because there are some people who leave some topics. If you find some topic, then leave it, but don't be stuck on one or two topics because uh, the GRE exam has, they get topics, they get questions from each topic. So try to cover all the topics, all the basics of all the topics. In this way, you will get more than 300 marks. But if you leave most of them and concentrate on few topics, then you will not be able to answer most of them. So be intelligent and learn smartly, not don't do hard work, do smart work technically. I hope you like my video guys. If you like it, like it and subscribe it and please comment down below if you have any questions regarding GRE and I will soon make a video about IELTS. I got 7.5 in IELTS so I'm going to make a video about how I got 7.5 in IELTS exam. So take care.